I'm Kirsty, and welcome to another one of these quarantine tutorials. I'm having so much fun doing this and I hope that you guys are too. I have been requested over and over again that I get into something called glazing, which I have mentioned before, but it is the main way that I do paint and it's the main way that I will create color and create color layering and, you know, obviously adding depth to the painting from an underpainting. So what we have here is considered an underpainting. I am just using black, white, and brown, burnt umber is the brown that I'm using. And I am just kind of uh, bringing in, you know, the value before I start with the hue. I am gonna be putting in color with um, the glazing technique. So I'm using the glazing medium that I am a huge advocate for. Just I'm, I'm just using golden glazing medium. Nothing too fancy. You can get it at Michael's or order it online at this point, right? So I am also using a um, round brush. So kind of looking like that. I find it works a little bit easier. So glazing is kind of a way to unify a painting with color in a way where everything is already made, you know, tonal, right? So all of the shadows are already here and all the highlights are already here using white. So using the glazing, I'm just like, this is my makeshift palette that I have. It's just a canvas with plastic on it, but there's another tip for you guys if you want to um, use a palette and you don't have ones. Just starting off, I am using um, just the yellow like this and I will be mixing it with the glazing medium. This is not white, this is glazing medium. So I'm mixing like maybe glazing medium to kind of get it super like, I might even need more, but kind of getting it more and more transparent. So to start, I already have everything planned out in terms of the values. I am just gonna come in with using forward motions in the direction of my um, painting, so with the yellow. So you can kind of see that it doesn't need to be entirely perfect, but this is how I'll add color. And this was this is gonna be a way to make everything seem, you know, a little bit more unified. If you are struggling to find glazing medium, you can use water. I'm just going kind of loose uh, at first and then I'll come back in with some more of my shadows using um, more different types of browns. But this is kind of the basic and I'm not even thinking about the dark or the light. I'm going over everything um, with, the, with the yellow. And I want to be painting in a motion where it's going along with the petals. Also, another thing uh, to keep in mind is everything underneath this is already painted white. So it's not, um, you know, it's, it's not, I'm not just painting on a canvas. It's important to kind of lay down everything first. So you want everything to be in this monochromatic form of an underpainting um, to have your color kind of come out a little bit more. So if you paint, you, if you use this type of glazing technique on like regular like canvas that's just hasn't been painted on first, it will look really flat and it won't even make any sense. <laughs> For something like this is kind of to add a little bit more what is known as localized glazes which is kind of you know just smaller um, you know adding areas where you want some other types of colors and types of dimension so localized glazes are also transparent so I'm not going in with anything too wild I'm gonna give myself some more glazing medium I go through bottles of this literally ridiculous amounts like a month but I'm kind of just going in and I'm using like this is kind of like the transparency that we're looking for super um you know see-through and very very light i'd say um for a ratio probably around two two to one in terms of uh you know glazing medium to paint so you're really not using that much pigment but you are using a lot of glazing medium so i am using burnt sienna to kind of bring in some more of the warmth of this so with the localized glazes i'm kind of using this to push back some of the um like the the petals in the back and this is going to give you guys a nice mix and a nice kind of energy of um bringing it a little bit of a warmer tone so that's kind of why i did that so it's another thing um to keep in mind with this type of glazing stuff you are m practically mixing on the canvas so you don't want to be um you know going on top of yellow with a purple or on top of a blue with an orange you don't want to be making that type of muddiness 
So using um, just colors that are more analogous, which means that they're next to each other on the color wheel, you're able to get that kind of atmosphere. So I'm just going in, making this a little bit warmer. <laughs> I'm gonna be coming in with just white, no glazing medium, just white because it'll mix with the glazing medium once it's on the petals. Um, just coming in with white to add those those last minute highlights to give it, you know, that extra amount of dimension. Just giving it that a little bit more of that sheen kind of feel. For this part, um, I am using a flat brush. After that, you can do the shadows, but I don't think I'm gonna. You can define more of your petals with the white too, so if you're feeling like you messed up a little bit, you can um, kind of use the white to bring it back. So lastly, I'm going to be moving on to the earth portion, and I kind of laid down the line of where I want the dark parts to be and where I want the light parts to be, so I'm just going to come along again with the glazing medium like I have right here and mix it with some blue. Not a lot of blue, more glazing medium, honestly. And I'm going to take that, uh, still with my round brush, I'm going to take that and honestly go over the entire earth. And... With this, you're kind of creating, um, you're creating a unified feel. So all of the earth is gonna be unified through this one glaze. So underneath the greens of the continents, you're gonna see the blue. Alrighty, so I'm gonna wait for this to dry a little bit and then we can come back on with the green. So once that initial blue glaze has already dried, I'm gonna come in with my localized glazes. So what I have right here on my palette is a dark blue and then also a dark green. So with the dark blue, obviously I'm gonna be mixing it. You know, I'm gonna be eventually coming in with more purples and stuff, but for the dark blue, I'm gonna kind of be localizing that, kind of where, where you want it to be. Um, for this type of glazing, where it's really, really gonna be dark, you wanna maybe add a little bit less glazing medium. Um, so this is just a rough first kind of layer. And obviously, like I said earlier, you're gonna be putting a lot more layers, so it kinda doesn't look complete right now, but for all intents and purposes, this is gonna be what I do. And the reason that we already did the blue layer at first, I used the cerulean blue, was to kind of unify it all together before we go on with everything else. So once the um, localized glaze is already done, you can move on to the other one. So I guess I'm going to be using the green, and I'm still using my little palette here, and I'm still using glazing medium, mixing it with green, and glazing the green on like this. So obviously it still looks really transparent, but that's kind of the point until we, we're gonna, this, we still have a very, very, very long way to go before we build on all sorts of color. In between glazes, I like to sometimes use white if I feel I need to change something up. So if I feel I need to, um, you know, brighten something up or something, I will use white to kind of come back in. So that is kind of the first glaze here for the earth. And I'm going super like loose, I guess. I, it's not really important that you go, you know, very precisely just to kind of get that layer down. This should probably summarize everything that you kind of really know to begin glazing. Obviously with glazing, there's a lot, a lot, a lot to learn and I'm still kind of learning too. But just kind of for pointers, you know, you're doing the underpainting with just black and white or brown and you're kind of using that to create tone and then bringing color after. I like to unify everything with, you know, one color first, like how you saw me do all yellow first and then the localized glazes after, and then same with the earth where I was doing all blue and then localized glazes after. So I like to kind of use glazing to unify the entire painting and kind of bring in the light to and from, um, trying to pull back and push forward, you know, the, the painting itself with the glazing. So I hope that um, helped you guys. If you have any questions about glazing, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook. I'm more than willing to help. And these are donation based. So if you guys um, have the means to, you know, add us some tips along the way, my Venmo is at Kirstie Conan and my PayPal is 
kirstie.con and periodart at gmail.com. So thank you guys so much. Let me know if you guys have any other, you know, questions for future videos. I'm slightly running out of ideas for other videos. I have some planned for, you know, kids and maybe doing some anatomy. So other than that, I'm pretty open-ended. And thank you guys so much for joining me.